Hey everybody, this is Andy from Tennis Euphoria and today I'm bringing you my review of the Babolat Pure Aero VS 2020. So I'm on a bit of a roll with racket reviews at the moment, got plenty coming up, but do subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with rackets that I'm reviewing and that will really help me to continue to push on and make sure that I review new rackets as they come out. A bit about Babolat before, I guess the three pillars of their products, you have unashamed power with the pure drive, you have the king of spin with the pure aero, and then you have control but also power and spin with the Pure Strike. And credit where credit is due, I guess Babolat in today's market just works really well, doesn't it, for the power and spin game. Obviously King Rafa, Dominic Team, Fabio Fognini, but then you also go past that and look to other players in the kind of top 50 is quite a lot using Babolat rackets, lots from the WTA. So you kind of feel that that influence on the modern game is always there with regards to Babolat rackets. But what's kind of missing in their line is those control orientated sticks. Yes, the Pure Strike offers good control, but it does have a lot of power and spin and also it's relatively stiff. So that is potentially where the VS line can come in. And I've talked a bit about them before. They are designed to be kind of hybrid rackets fitting in between the lines. And I have had a bit of fun playing around with the previous Babolat Pure Aero VS. Um, I played with them for a couple of months, liked them, it was underpowered, so I got it uh, customized by Unstrung Customs, Shout out to Nikki there, who added some weight for me and changed the paint job. Um, and something just kind of led me to keep in them. I sort of like them. As someone who primarily values control from a racket, I was really excited by the Pure Drive VS. It was a massive disappointment for me. You can see the review of that on my channel. So can the 2020 Aero VS rescue the opinion of the VS line in my view. Certainly from a specs perspective it's encouraging. So let's have a quick look at that. We have a 305 gram static weight, so more weight there which is great. We have that 1620 string pattern, lovely to see something different to the 1619, more control there hopefully. Uh, still relatively stiff at 67 RA, 31.5 balance point and a 321 swing weight. So relatively light but certainly interesting specs. So first thing that I wanted to make sort of pretty clear is that the previous VS rackets were very much based on the old Pure Storm. Here is my old Aero VS, changed paint job by Unstrung Customs, but check out the top, very clearly a Pure Storm with the Aero Beam added on. If we look at the Pure Strike VS, again, very much that Pure Storm at the top and just kind of Pure Strike in the throat added on, so hybrid. The new Aero VS, as we can see, that head is very different to the previous Storms and actually that is, I suspect, the same mould, same head as the Pure Drive VS and we can see the Cortex in there as well, just like the Pure Drive VS. So what we have here is a kind of new mould for the VS line and the Pure Drive VS, the Aero VS has that aero beam at the bottom however. And how does it play on court? Well first hit kind of on the wall, uh, interesting, I thought it was certainly more stable but it still felt really whippy with that aero beam so sort of quite encouraging and when I took that onto first hits it was definitely an improvement to the Pure Drive. It is more stable, that extra weight compared to the Pure Drive VS is really helpful and you just get a feeling that it's more playable uh, but it also, with some small customization rather than drastic change, could be something that has real potential. So thumbs up early doors. And as I started to hit with it more, I started to enjoy it. Certainly what you have is a really kind of whippy feeling that aero beam does bring it through the air 
really quickly. Spin comes really easily. I would say it's very comparable to the Pure Aero in terms of the spin that it generates, but you do notice that the 1620 string pattern and that smaller head at 98 square inches offers you that little bit more control. That was kind of seconded by a hitting partner of mine, shout out to Jamie. Uh, Jamie hit with it for a bit, he's a pure aero user. He immediately commented on the improved control and on his forehand side, probably preferred the racket to his pure aero, he could hit his targets better. He didn't enjoy it as much on the backhand side. I think he quite enjoys the kind of forgiveness that the 100 square inch in the aero delivers him and I would totally agree with that. I was gelling with it pretty well on my forehand side, on my backhand side, which is probably my slightly weaker side. I was struggling a little bit. I sort of felt that ideally I wanted actually a bit more stability and plow to help that side out, but certainly enjoyable from the baseline, much, much better than the Pure Drive VS, similar characteristics to the old Pure Aero VS. And then when I started to play with it some more, kind of you know honeymoon period over, it's kind of okay at net. I certainly think it can do with a little bit more weight. I also think that it could do with a little bit more weight to actually slow it down a bit for my game. So if anything, I felt that I think the aero beam makes it so quick through the air that I was a little early on my backhand side quite a lot. So that was leading to a little bit of frustration and inconsistency. Uh, however, I'm not blaming the racket for that. I think that's very much kind of my characteristics and with some lead and some small customization, not a lot to improve the swing weight and the stability. I think you have a really good playing racket across all of the court. One area that it really shone, and this is without any customization, was on serve. So this was happening quite a lot. I'm not a big guy, I don't have a particularly big serve, but I was getting more free points from this racket than I was probably on any other that I've hit with over the last 18 months with serve. And it wasn't just giving me a bit of extra pace on my first serve, it was brilliantly accurate. And I could really hit kind of corners, I could send my second serves out wide. Uh, this is one of the best rackets on serve for me that I've hit with. And that carried through into some of those sort of drills that I do with hitting partners quite regularly. The second serve drill that we do, you hit your second serve only and you have to follow in uh, on that second serve, a tough drill to win if you're serving. The uh, Aero VS was great in that respect. I could hit really good second serves accurately, send people out wide, and it actually had relatively nice touch and feel, certainly not like my kind of rackets of choice, but I could find angles. It was sort of fairly stiff on contact, but I didn't find it to be a kind of brittle response, which I get with some babalats. Playing around with strings was interesting. So I got hold of two of the rackets through um, a gentleman that I got in touch with um, online. We've been kind of exchanging some rackets. He's a really good stringer and the rackets um, arrived with Selinko um, Torbite Soft in one, which I thought worked kind of pretty well. And then in the other, um, he'd strung it up with a new string, Prince Premier Control in the mains and Luxalon Element in the crosses. And I thought I'd give them a hit knowing that he was a great stringer and that string combination worked brilliantly within the racket in my opinion. He'd strung it pretty low. That Prince Premier Control isn't a particularly powerful string but certainly offers a really nice response and helped to sort of soften the racket a little on my arm and the element also gave it some nice elements too. So I thought that hybrid setup worked really well. For the sake of review and experimentation, I restrung them, one with uh, Selinko Torbite, not the soft version, to see how that would be on my arm. And I also put in some Signum Pro Firestorm, the Berrettini string, 
And then here comes my only word of warning. Certainly with the Selenko Tour bike and not the soft version, I'm not really someone who suffers with uh, tennis elbow, but I was certainly getting a little bit of soreness through my arm. It just kind of felt like it had been worked. And also with the Signum string, wasn't really getting the same response. Um, it was also pinging at my arm a little bit. So I guess in good old Babalat style, we still do have quite a stiff racket and I think you've got to go a bit careful with it. Certainly if you're looking at a full bed of polys and if you have arm issues, definitely string low and maybe look at a hybrid if you want to enjoy this racket. So where had I come to after hitting with it for a couple of weeks? So I started to play around with a bit of lead and I'd added only about five grams um, across three and nine. And on the other, I just put about four grams at 12. Both improved it, but I thought that the small bit of lead at three and nine was the way to go. Uh, with that lead on it, I was getting a little bit more stability. Uh, I felt like I was getting a bit more plough. I'd probably taken the swing weight up a little bit, and that was working a little bit better for me. I was finding now that I was settling into the racket that I was really appreciating its qualities. So it is really fast through the air. You have huge spin potential with it. Uh, it does offer much more control than the pure aero in my view. And I would say that it is probably a pretty good racket actually with that 1620 string pattern when you're comparing accuracy and control to other rackets such as your usual suspects, 98 square in, 305 gram unstrung space. But for me, it wasn't quite giving me this sort of feel or touch that I enjoy. Ultimately, it's a little bit too stiff. I think the Gore-Tex does work to a degree, but it means that it feels like a racket in my arm rather than an extension to my arm, if that makes sense. And I also felt that the fact that it is so kind of fast through the air, but then also offers a little bit of control, means that there is a bit of an adaption to it. And I just couldn't quite trust it as n enough as I can with my other preferred rackets to be hitting my targets as well as I would like. So it isn't switchable for me. But having said that, I think this is a very good racket. I would go as far as saying it's my favourite Babalat racket from the last few years. It's probably the best Babalat racket that I've hit for quite a while. Now that might be uh, because I guess it's kind of the most suited to me with the 98 square inch head and the 1620 string pattern. But I would highly encourage your pure aero users to hit with this racket. It gives you that little bit more control uh, without losing spin potential that you might quite enjoy. I also think that if you are somebody who likes to play with a lot of spin, has a modern kind of Western grip, and you're maybe playing with other 98 square inch heads, you should give this a go because you're gonna get probably more rotations on the ball, more spin, certainly you're probably gonna get a bit of extra pop on your serve as well. So I think Babalat have done a good job here at creating a kind of hybrid type racket. I think it's interesting that you've got uh, Ali Asim endorsing the Aero VS. Also Jack Sock is playing with the Aero VS and endorsing it. Now, if you look closely, both are using that Aero Storm model. And I think that's something that's really interesting to watch. It's uh, If you look at pictures online, you can see that Ali Asim tried this new version, but looking at the UTS footage recently, it looks to me like he's kind of stuck with the Storm version. Um, so that's interesting, but I think with those two endorsing the racket, it will probably get quite a lot of attention, particularly Ali Asim. I mean, he seems to be one of the um, real up and coming stars. And so well done Babalat, thumbs up from me. You certainly have much more stability in stock weight than you did with that pure dry VS. It is offering you something different to the three pillars as I call it with Babalat's range. It's um, different to um, the pure strike. You've got huge amounts of spin potential, very whippy, more control than you'd get from the pure aero with that 16 by 20 and 19 8 square inch heads. Please subscribe which will help enable me to keep the most 
recent and up and coming rackets reviewed for you. More videos to follow soon. See you soon.